Hi guys, this is Radhika here again. Um, so today I'm going to be making a video on uh, narcissism and uh, negative energy. So uh, by narcissism I mean um, the malignant, uh, you know, heavy kind of a narcissistic personality disorder kind of a narcissism, not just general looking into the mirror, trying to look good kind of a narcissism. Um, yeah, so actually, <clears throat> uh, NPD and negative energy are very, very uh, deeply connected to each other. Um, and if you have been on the receiving end of uh, NPD abuse, you will, um, you probably feel it, but you might not be thinking of it in terms of energy. So um, you might be thinking that, oh, someone is making me feel a certain way or I'm having negative thoughts or I'm having depression or I'm having CPTSD or um, all of these things like bad dreams, etc. So in a sense, uh, all this is true. But what all this is in the end is energy. So, um, so yeah, actually what happens is narcissists kind of, uh, now I'm saying narcissists, but NPD, people who have NPD, they kind of envelop you in, uh, if you were to like visualize it, visualize it like a gray fog or a dark, dark black color or dark gray color kind of a layer of fog which makes it difficult to see which makes it difficult for any light to come in to come for you to come in contact with any light so i don't think they actually they know what they are doing npd people because trust me whatever you are suffering as an abuser of an of some NPD situation I think the person who has the NPD they suffer a lot more because they stay with themselves all the time and imagine someone who has so much of hatred in their heart that they have to put it out into the world because most of us who are functional uh, adults we also have hatred in our hearts because we are human we are not divine yet uh, but we have ways to process it we have ways to handle it but people who are npd they were they were affected in their childhood so badly that they have always um, created very bad mechanisms to process the negativity that they have so instead of processing it with their soul they process it with their ego so they have this like a uh, super big ego that uh, they have created to protect themselves you know from from the trauma that they had but yeah in the process of course they also abuse others so they are just constantly stuck in this cycle of negativity but anyways so basically what they do is they bring out all the bad things that you might be feeling but which you might be suppressing as well uh, in your subconscious they will bring it out to the forefront you know like they will put like a flashlight on all your negative points and all these negative points are actually things in our ego which we are um, which we are afraid of or which we are ashamed of or which we are not so proud of or which we don't like so these are parts of us that we don't like but the narcissist is putting a flashlight on those for you. So uh, basically what happens when this, when this happens the first time or when you have not, you don't know it this well, is that you surround yourself with a lot of negativity because someone is always bringing out the things that you hate in yourself to the forefront. So, uh, so this cloud of negative emotions surrounds you and you go into that cycle of negative thoughts which is very hard to break out from and um, 
I when I was going through it I was a big believer in we need to feel all of our feelings you know like because I'm not one of those people who represses feelings and who will just fake uh, happiness and um, who will fakely say that oh I'm over it because if I'm not over it I'm not going to say I'm over it I'm going to keep it in sight and um, that's just the way I am so I I was a big believer in like you have to feel all of your feelings and you have to process them and I was doing that but when I was doing that everything around me was falling apart it was giving me more and more negativity and um, a close person in my life was always telling me that don't be so negative be positive be positive and I was feeling like I cannot be positive I just cannot I cannot be positive in this situation I have to feel my feelings I have to be negative I have to let it out so for a while I did that I let out all my negative feelings but that's when this was happening all the things around me were kind of falling apart and um to tell you the truth, I never had that kind of a uh, experience because I was usually a very happy-go-lucky kind of a person. I never had bad luck or bad things happen to me, touch wood. And I wasn't a very spiritual person either. I was just a good human being, not religious, not spiritual. But yeah, on a humanitarian level, I always um, thought of you know like helping people helping animals helping the planet etc but i did not subscribe to any religion or philosophy or anything like that but when this was happening i kind of got this realization that all the thoughts or all the feelings that i feel are mine and i'm having i have like this um what do you say stamp on them like my feelings my depression my my embarrassment you know like my everything is all these feelings all the negative feelings that I'm having are because of someone else are because of the narcissist and suddenly I'm like these are mine and why why am i holding on to these feelings as if they are diamonds or as if they are gold because they are not they are just they are just really bad feelings so i kind of i kind of understood this um sorry i just thought someone's coming I kind of understood this uh, through another video that I saw on narcissism on YouTube. It was from ASSC Direct or something like that. Uh, it's a channel run by a person who also ta talks about narcissism. So basically, I understood that this is what is happening to me. I'm getting a lot of bad luck. Because I'm stuck in these emotions because the narcissist's negative energy like the narcissist has left that kind of with me and I'm guarding it you know instead of letting it go instead of saying that this is not helpful to me this is not productive to me I want to let it go what I'm doing is I'm guarding that energy with me like it's precious golds or diamonds or you know like something that gives me a lot of power or happiness but it's not it's just it's just bad things so why don't you want to let go of bad things so I think I believe we all have to go through that cycle of obsession over thoughts but after a point we have to stop the cycle we have to get to this realization that no one can make you or me feel a certain way. No one has that power actually. All we do is, all that happens is we don't know our own power. And that's why we allow someone else to make us feel a certain way. 
but if we actually um, go deep within ourselves we will realize that we have the power to block so you don't have to go and change the narcissist or you don't have to go and shout from the rooftops about the narcissist but you have the power to not let the narcissist affect you and that is very important so you have to block the narcissist's bad energy bad thoughts from coming into your space because this is your space you have to protect your energetic space um yeah so basically uh, that was my video for today and yeah thoughts are also energy thoughts are also vibration our words are vibration our actions are also energy they are they are derived from energy so yeah so basically we all have the power in us to get rid of bad thoughts and bad energies and um, yeah we just need to realize that power so i hope this video was helpful and i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thank you bye